What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Matthew Snow is the Gold Crease Guardian. We've got no Sunday game after the last one, but we're going back to Friday nights. Let's go. The Saws are our next opponent on Friday night. A team that has only lost twice this year, and we are one of those losses. So let's see if we can get another victory against them. Um, the last time they were out against us, they actually had some new moves, didn't want to bust them out because they hadn't lost yet, and we beat them. So now we get to see those new moves. They look sharp, nice little Edmonton Oilers feel to them. But uh, let's see if we can once again take down who I believe is the number one team in the league at this point in time. Nice little puck handling play there to go against the green. Get that puck up the wall. Not give anyone on the other team a chance to get it. Really, really good. And they've also come out firing in this game a little bit. Letting pucks go early. Trying to get pucks on net. And um, can't blame them. But we are going to come out with the first goal of this one. A nice rip by Hubs. Using that defenseman as a little bit of a screen. Curl, drag, rip high glove, and we're up one. Good presence to get the stick on that one because that puck should have stuck in. It didn't. Either way, got the puck away, and then a little bit later, this save is just really nice. Coming out, you can see me elevating, or not elevating, moving my hands out to that puck, down to that puck, so he cannot elevate. He whiffs on it a little bit. You can see it gets underneath me, and then I've got it all sealed up. Really well done on a play like that to keep it 1-0, because that could have been a very dangerous opportunity, and one that would have been rough that one would have been rougher as he caught me off guard and it just got caught under my pad thankfully um wouldn't like to give up the first goal of the game for me like that especially coming off a shutout Well, there we go, two nothing now. Another one, just a good shot coming down the wing. Really good play, trying to find pucks on net, get a bit of a lead against these guys is always a good thing. And um, ooh, he just mishandles that breakaway opportunity and I'm gonna knock away that pass, not give him a chance to get that on net. We don't need that around here, come on. Oh, big stop. Quick, quick to wave this one off. I might have not waved this one off, but good save here. You can see me trying to push off of my post and then the net just moves and gives way. I make the first save anyways, using that edge and then he buries the rebound, gets waved off. And I guess the puck don't lie because they scored right off the face off. This one, you can see me moving to the middle because that puck gets to that guy. And then I just, I flatten out a little bit. I do not end up getting rotated around to this guy who gets the mini breakaway. He elevates it right up over my blocker. Good finish, and it is two to one after one. I can't really say that I um, am too upset with that, given the fact that they scored twice and only one of them counted. But that's gonna be a common theme in this one: is the net coming off, and um, yeah, there's nothing really you can do about it. It's rink pegs at public rinks. They sometimes really stink and do not stay, and for whatever reason, um, this particular rink has a big problem with it, I feel like. Great stop here as this puck goes across. Came out, I was able to cut the pass, but ended up going right to a guy and just moving over, getting on that one. 
He tried to go back the other way a little bit, able to make that save, and then two stops there, and then I get a little cross check, and this guy is going to be in my face all game long. This is not the first time he's done this. Um, at the end of last year, he definitely gave me a little bit of a, a whack and a run kind of thing. I don't know, the guy feels like he needs to do that sometimes, I guess. Some, some people just, that's how they play. That's fine. I normally don't get that involved in it, but for whatever reason on this night, I did. And uh, we'll see more of that later. We'll also want this one back. Um, first save, fine. This is where we get into trouble. I take a little bit too long getting over. Don't really find that puck. You can see my head doesn't turn. And then look here, I'm just diving back and trying to seal up. And I lift up and it goes right underneath me. Tough bounce, two to two. Let's see if we can get um, get it straightened out. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Good save on the two on one, or the two on two kind of play. Five hole, and then at the other end, we are gonna get another goal through traffic, just right through the defender's legs. Tough one to pick up. It is now three to two, and I'm gonna make another good save on a net drive to keep it there. And it's 4-2 just like that. Save at one end, goal at the other. Momentum fully switched. Once again, using the defenseman and the curl and drag shot. Beautifully executed offense. We are now up 4-2, and we are flying. Good stop on that despite the tip. And another one. And they're not happy with this one. Puck whistle coming out again. You can see me jam that post, get my foot there, and I, I mean, I make the save. And the net came off just a little bit. Ref blew the whistle, which I appreciate. And we've got a breakaway goal at the other end, just going forehand, backhand. A nice little fake hit in there as well to make sure that Jeff had to respect that five hole shot. Hard to get across to the left as a result of that. And it is now five to two. And we've had a big second period here. Good stop on that one. Following all the way down. Those are tough when a guy's got some pressure and he manages to get in on a breakaway-ish one-on-one situation. In tight like that. Not the easiest situation. But as we run out the second period, we are going to be up 5-2 to two after a big offensive explosion. 30 shots for them, 18 shots for us. I'm doing a really good job again. Coming back, coming off of the shutout, coming off of a uh, few good performances in a row. And um, we are just continuing to build on that. I'm celebrating on that one. I was very much crossbar, but I can see why he's celebrating because that beat me pretty clean. Just a nice little chip backhand there. Once again, you can see, I like that camera for the puck handling because you can see kind of what's happening behind me a little bit better sometimes. And uh, yep, we're gonna go ahead and not give up a chance there. And they are very upset after this one. They, this is where they start to insist that I'm doing this on purpose because he misses the net and you can see the net actually comes off. I pull it back on because I want the play to continue. And I go to push off of it in an RVH, and it moves. And there's nothing I can do about that. It just happens to move because it's bad pegs. And then I make a save, and we're fine. Except for the fact that they scored on this one. And you can see he just goes against the grain. Watch this angle of this replay. Look at him come out and put his hands and just whip it back across the net. Not what I'm expecting. Not the shot I'm looking for. Ends up in the net. And I'm still feeling pretty good despite that, so we're gonna show off that glove save a little bit anyways. Ooh, got lucky that that one didn't get on net. And once again, of course, the net moving around. Good save here, nice and patient in the RVH, and you can see fixing that again. 
I do that a lot in game just because I don't, I don't like a whistle for a net game off in my own zone. It just it frustrates me because I want the net to stay on. I want the play to continue. So we're going to make another nice save there. A lot of traffic in front too, I might add. I got lucky that that rebound kind of didn't bounce off of somebody because it wasn't maybe my best rebound control in that scenario. <laughs> Good passing, and then good use of traffic, and a better two saves on that sequence. And then nice block as this puck goes the other way. But look at this. Through traffic, make the first save, bounces out of the glove, and then the toe gets on the second one. Just phenomenal. Really good. Extension right off of that rebound. And still 5-3, to three, which is important because a one-goal game at this point is not necessarily what we want to face. What a diving stop by the defenseman there. And then <laughs> net comes off at the other end. Bad pegs. That one. Yeah, bad pegs. That's all that really it is here because just never stay on. It's, it's unbelievable at this rank sometimes. And speaking of unbelievable, how does he even save this? Off of the dasher board, over the net, off the back of his leg, and he's able to reach back and make the glove save. Oh man, Jeff is awesome to play against because he makes saves like that sometimes, and you just you don't know how he does it. It's great. I love it. It's so much fun. That's just such a good save right there. I love that angle of it um, for my 37th save of the night, and just really, really nice. Here, I was a little upset. So that puck came to me. I tried to handle it, and um, the ref told me I didn't handle it enough to get a whistle for a penalty because I'm a goalie and that possession means covering. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there. But we've got that same guy in front of the net battling over a few times, and a nice little shove. And Jay is gonna let him know that he does not like that. And we're gonna make a save, get this puck out of here, and. Yeah, who needs an empty netter? We're up five, five to three anyways. That's game over. Let's take a look at this sequence really quick first. Save here and then a little shove. I'm off balance, so it probably looks more like a dive than it is. Um, but yeah, you can see just right here, he gives me a shove as I'm leaning back. And then Jay decided that he did not like that, which I appreciate. Either way, big five to three dub. Like I said, big 5-3 to three W there at the end, getting a little bit chippy um, is what it is. Sometimes it happens in men's league, but you don't like it because we all got to go to work at some point the next day. So it is what it is. But big win. Really liked that one. Good performance. I felt really, really good for all of that game, to be honest with you. So it feels good to get back-to-back -back wins. A uh, big win against a team that is above us in the standings. And we're going to try and continue that momentum. Playoffs are actually coming up really quick here. Uh, season's winding down a little bit. The more points we can get, the better. The more of those wins we can get, the better. Get the momentum going and honestly have more guys at games because that always helps. Um, yeah, just really looking forward to more performances like that. And if you enjoyed that video, please head down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Maybe let me know down in the comments below what you thought of all the net coming off and all the shenanigans going on in that game. I always enjoy seeing your comments about that. Cannot wait to bring you guys the next one. I'll see you all then.